to take you guys along as we go to church. We're gonna take you to church. We thought this would be a fun vlog uh, so you guys can kind of see a little bit of what our church is like and what we do at church. We do stay like pretty much all morning on Sundays. We have three services stay in the morning. Two. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Till the afternoon. Because um, we serve and everything. And Bri is actually working today. Recently, he started working part time as a ministry assistant at our church. So he's on the clock. So we just pulled in. This is our church, Harvest Christian Fellowship. We do go to a very, very big church, so if you're not used to it, this might be a different experience for you. Might be a little bit of a culture shock for you. I'm trying to figure out if I should do red. Get the pants too, come on. <laughs> or gray. Lisa says red, but and then she goes, do red because I'm feeling fun today. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I just like the look of it. Like, this is it, more does it neutral. Look, does it look fun or cool? Because there's a difference. If you it's walk up, same. that person looks fun, then they don't look cool. No, I meant like in a cool way. It's just this is more neutral. The red is more Someone pop. said they look fun in a cool way. Okay. Has no. anyone ever experienced that? Let us know in the comments. Uh, you know, John 3.16 was probably the scripture that we first saw. We all know it. Even the secular world knows it. 3.16, they see it in the end zone. For God so loved the world, for God so loved us, that he gave his only son. Hey, Lisa, can I grab that sign for you? So with all the LOLs and, and <laughs> IDK and all those kind of things, um, we're going to be doing CMI. I truly believe that people aren't serving in the church because they don't know what it tastes like, right? Yeah. And once you get a taste of it, it tastes so good, they'll literally be running back for more. So let's give them a taste of it today, and let's put Jesus on, and we got the worship team in here to lead us in worship, so a little bit of acapella, it looks like? Yes. 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 This lady was walking up and she was like, had like her cane and it knocked her over. I'm just kidding. Oh gosh, I'm like, seriously? So this week at our church, we're doing this uh, serve campaign called Count Me In. And uh, Greg's gonna speak on it, give a little message encouraging people to, to serve and to give a little push for them to serve. And we gave out little surveys for them to fill out that they can hand in and then we'll get their information and be able to contact and see where they want to serve. And so it's actually really cool. It's a really awesome time to be here right now. And we've got a bunch of bling outside that says count me in. And so this is, it's, it's gonna be a really cool experience. We might get some video of like, I'm, I'll, I'll try to get some video of everybody responding to, to the push yeah, for the service. Service. Yeah, Yeah, so it should be very cool. Over in Romans 12.5 it says, We being many are one body in Christ, Everyone members one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, so let us use them. Talking about spiritual gifts that come to you as a Christian uh, are not given on the basis of merit because you deserve them. None of us deserve any of these gifts. They are, well, again, God just graciously bestows them upon us. much later now we got done with church it's 2 38 in the afternoon it was a crazy day but it was good now I need me a Fuji apple chicken salad and I Panera. need a modern Greek salad to fill up my gut <laughs> we're hungry and baby's hungry Gotta fill, up, <laughs> fill up your gut 
Let it come out your butt. Ew, okay, uh. that's not going in.